Rain, the weather theme here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And there are a few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It is Chelsea facing Manchester City. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Ruben Dias plays alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Bernardo Silva plays with Mateo Kovacic in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And now they get the ball rolling. Jeremy Doku and with that the attack fizzles out and that'll be a Chelsea ball Caicedo a very good tackle And in the right position to read it. And that'll end up being the keeper's ball. Jaden Sancho. Well, they have the ball once more. Vardiol. De Bruyne now. Got to get it away under pressure. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to forge ahead. And that is going to be a booking for the goalkeeper, in the opinion of the referee. Can he make it 1-0? And confidently convert it! Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Kukureya. Sancho. 
Palmer. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Well, conceding the throw in. Good challenge. Kevin De Bruyne. Back to Holland. Well, a failure to keep the ball by Manchester City. Fernandez. Sancho now. Good work from City to win back the ball. Jeremy Doku. Mateo Kovacic. No real conviction in the challenge. Kevin De Bruyne. On to Holland. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlight reel. Maybe scope for City to add to the lead with this set piece. Now a decent position. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Nkunku. And doing his opponent. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. And that's going to result in a goal kick. Kevin De Bruyne. Given away by City. Jadon Sancho. Nkunku. What can Chelsea do from this position? And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Attacking possibilities on the flank for City here. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. He lets to go short. Cutting it back. High pressing at its best. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, Kevin De Bruyne is a wonderful player, one of the best in the world, Stuart, but even the best have their off days. Well, he's had no real impact on the game so far. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he has to work hard to make things happen. He's been really disappointing. So the beginning of the second half here in West London. That he could be onto something. Oh, good-looking run. And now having a go. And City recovering possession well. A chance to whip it in. takes it on well it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be well I don't like criticizing players for missing chances but today I have to say City shooting has been really poor will they come to regret it that's the big question Lewis passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead 
And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. Kukureya. I'll just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Chelsea to take the lead and nicely parried away. And given away. And they keep the ball. Advantage Chelsea. Palmer. And Chelsea could be onto something. But timely defending when it mattered. And it might be. Determined defending. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now. But these fans have suddenly come to life. Who can he pick out? Well, it was a crowded penalty area, but the keeper's done well to hold on to that. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Manchester City taking on Ipswich Town. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Caicedo. Kunku in a dangerous position and Chelsea get the decision from the referee to play it to firing it in and putting his body on the line oh goodness not the best of challenges now then what's the referee going to do here and he's been dismissed this will be a real test of their defensive resilience well he had to go didn't he they'll need to reshape their defence quickly here Just look at this again, because it's a great piece of skill. He uses the outside of his foot to hit it so cleanly. What a fantastic free kick. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. It's opening up for them. Having to shoot. Well, they needed a bit of goalkeeping inspiration, and that's what they've got. Well, that just about keeps his team in this one, but are they good enough to go and get the equaliser? And cutting inside. Well, on the final analysis, not quite precise enough. Goal kick here. Jackson on the ball. Moises Caicedo. And support available. What a shot from miles out. The goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. Three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Fernandez. And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel good for City fans everywhere. They take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? 
Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward. And it's no accident that the cameras are zooming in, as they often do, on Kevin De Bruyne. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.